So the Royal College of Art's new Intelligent Mobility Design MA programme really aims to address some of the most important social and technical issues uh, we're now seeing emerging. And circular design absolutely feeds into those. There's a massive shift toward electrification, and that's taking over from current petrol-powered vehicles. Also, we're seeing a shift toward autonomous vehicles, which is opening up interior design thinking and opening up an opportunity to really challenge how we develop sustainable interiors. And also there's a move to hyper-urbanised hyper spaces, uh, which is creating new opportunities for different vehicle typologies. And each of these drivers are op offering opportunities in different ways uh, to circular thinking and a shift away from linear, uh, the linear model that's traditionally been used in areas like vehicle design. So I've asked my group of students to look into a, a new aesthetic for a sustainable future vehicle. And what we're trying to do is, is make them understand a new aesthetic which is based around the concepts of the circular economy. So this will be looking into materials, how they're displayed to the public, and how we are visibly showing this idea of sustainability within a circular economy for the future. I want them to understand that within the circular economy and the drive from social pressure, that there will have to be a change with the aesthetic of vehicles. At the moment, electric vehicles are quite staid. They're not challenging in any way. And I believe that as non-sustainable goods become unfashionable, and sustainability becomes fashionable, that a new aesthetic will be achieved and this is what we're trying to get them to do with the vehicle. The whole holistic use of autonomous vehicles means that people will interact in different ways in the interiors. So this has a great influence on the redesign of interiors as we traditionally know them today. You know, we are looking at increasing longevity of ownership with vehicles. We're looking at materials um, that are self-cleaning, that are bio-mimicking. We're looking at emotional attachment at the moment. There are some disadvantages to using shared vehicles. People psychologically feel that this is not their space. This is an unclean environment. But if we can counteract some of these feelings, then we are really making progress with the design and the usage of shared vehicles. There are opportunities as well of increasing well-being um, through the use of lighting and uh, engaging the senses. This will have a huge impact on the desirability of using autonomous vehicles. There's a huge opportunity here to design into those interiors um, so the sense of well-being. We believe it's important to look at the idea of a no-car future. There's been a kind of transformation in the way bicycle transport is perceived. The public is now looking for a genuine alternative transport system that gives them low cost, accessibility and a healthy option to using a car. We've got an opportunity to produce an alternative vehicle that is either self-powered or alternatively powered or from a combination of self-powered and electrical. And this kind of product can offer a greater number of people a much more adaptable and practical and relevant transportation system. These transportation products could be shareable. They could be part of a much more evolved circular knowledge approach to designing transportation. We've got the opportunity to use data capture, the idea of big data, from vehicles or transportation infrastructure or even fitness trackers to create a much better planned, healthy, relevant transportation system. So in each of the project areas that we've looked at, uh, electrification, um, interiors and autonomy and hyper-urbanisation, we can hopefully see how uh, Adopting a new approach to design is really a way of challenging uh, this linear model and it opens up new opportunities. I think what's really important is that we see designers as the creative catalysts in, in this new vision of intelligent mobility and see designers as, as a key strategic element in carving out the vision for circular design thinking around future intelligent mobility.